is up guys welcome back it is sunday the 7th of may 2017 and uh we've got another ladies cup final for you today uh, a few weeks ago whiteleaf ladies took on egham and beat them uh in an awesome game which was their like second cup final i think they've also won the league the team only formed this season and they've won the league they've won two cups this is their last game as far as i'm aware uh chance for them to do well it's like the quad really isn't it because they've already won like three titles but anyway um ashford town are their opponents today i think this is likely to be the hardest of the three cup finals so we shall see um hoping from good performances from uh everyone that played last time. i still don't know any of the names um Headband was my man of the match um, in the in the last game, and um, who else done well? I know Daisy and Steph, and and that's it really. Um, tall red Millwall with some dodgy flying tackles. Um, hoping for good games from all of them. There were like massive planes just flying overhead because we're next to uh, like Heathrow Airport. And today I've brought my homeboys with me. Um, score predictions for for today. Uh, I think. 3-0 to Whiteleaf. 3-0 to Whiteleaf. And yourself, little man? I think 2-0 and Steph's going to score Screamer. Big Steph Screamer. Yeah. Okay. Well, you hear it here first. Um, let's do like um, our obligatory montage walking towards the ground. Safe? <laughs> oh, no, no. How'd you get in? Jay, what do you think of the pitch so far? It's good. It's nice, isn't it? Jay? What do you think, Chuck? Uh, good. Brilliant. Anything else to add? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> oh, you loser. Go, go. Game's just kicked off. Come on, Whiteley. Seems like longer's gone, but um, apparently six minutes and uh, Ashford Town have taken the lead. Holly Isaacs, I think it was, scored. Uh, Ashford Town have just um, scored again. No fault of Whiteley's really, but um, Whiteley's player on the left wing lost the ball chased it back and tackled the goal. The referee has allowed for advantage to go on in which case they had a shot on goal. Um, because it didn't go in, the referees didn't pop it back for a free kick and then they put away the free kick. So that's um, a little bit more than advantage. Um, Back 20 minutes gone, um, Ashford have just hit the crossbar again. Uh, some more dodgy officiating. Uh, just give the handball. Uh, he's getting some things right. The guys are coming with unbelievable techers. Unbelievable techers. Set! 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 
So it's half time here. Uh, we're already like three nil down. Um, it's not looking very good at all. We've um, Whiteleaf have had an injury, so that's their one sub used up. Um, they've had a goal disallowed, which I don't think was offside. And then um, Ashford had a goal given to them um, when the uh, the referee had pulled it back for advantage um, after already giving them advantage, which in my rules is bollocks. What do you think? Bollocks. You're not allowed to swear. A few moments later. Um, oh. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so it's not going very well at the moment. The girls are getting frustrated, which is understandable. Um, the linesman over this side is a massive bell. Um, the referee's not doing too well either. It's just all like not not going very well. Um, fat boy, you hungry? Mm, cheeseburger. Yeah. All right. Well, the girls have come out for the second half. Uh, it's important for the managers to remember not to step out of that area there or you will be told off by the third official and that dodgy linesman has chosen to stay on this side. Is that normally the case? I thought they usually swapped over. Maybe I'm wrong or maybe he's decided to stay here because uh, he doesn't want the other linesman being influenced by the managers here. Um, And there's Ashford, 3 0 up. It's sort of like he had a bit of budget at the end of the season and thought, let's buy one of those little boards so we can show everyone who the substitutes are. Good point. Could have spent it on getting a better linesman. It's a penalty at Whiteleaf after um, number nine just got kicked in the head. Danny, step up. Oh, it's a good goal. 3 1. No complaints about that. score was about like 5-1 now or something, I'm, I'm starting to lose count. Um, Whiteleaf have unfortunately picked, picked up another injury so they're down to 10 players because um, they don't have any more subs left. Uh, so bad to worse I think. About to make substitution, he's got his little board out, fucking loves it. Loves his little board. Go on, son, hold it up. Be proud of your Christmas present. Go on, son, hold it up, hold it up. Get in there. Whee! <laughs> White Leafs number three has just been sent off. So they are now down to nine players. Uh, <laughs> 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 
All of the fans here need to know exactly how much extra time there is left. And the only way we're going to find out... It's got fucking seven minutes. You're shitting me. I'm not nine players. So, final score here was 5 1 to Ashford Town, um, and my son is learning how to pole dance. <laughs> I'll try it again. Ow. You're an idiot. Well, that's it. I'm uh, back home now. Game finished 5 1. Congratulations to Ashford Town ladies. Um, I think they deserved it. They they were the better team from the start, really. Um, Whiteleaf had injuries. They only had one substitute who, uh, unfortunately, they had to make early on because Izzy James had a really bad injury, one with a headband. Um, so hopefully she will recover soon. I think she's in hospital at the moment. So um, for some prayers with her. Uh, I know the um, Whiteleaf ladies were, were disappointed about the result, but two cups and league champions in their first season, I think is a massive achievement. So fair play to them, they've done really well. Um, I'll definitely be following their progress next season, see how they get on and maybe try and do some more videos and photography um, if I can uh, but congratulations to Ashford Town on their win today thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up uh, until then take care <laughs>